Hi friends, in the previous video we have set up the Babel compiler in our ES6 project. But if we see the compilation, so what, I, what the code I have written, let x is equal to 10 console.log x I have seen the, I have written the code here. But if I try to compile the code, so what it is happening, the same thing is copying that from the source folder, it is keeping, in, keeping it in the output folder. So it is not compiling anything. So as we already know that let is a new feature added in the ES6. So it is not to be, it doesn't belong to the vanilla JavaScript. So what is happening here? So what is the use, what is that Babel compiler is doing in between this one? So whatever the code I have written in the source, it is just copying that one in the output folder. But it, it needs to compile and it, is, it needs to convert it into the JavaScript code. So let's see, is there any other steps missing out, uh, missing out. So here, after running this one, so what he is telling that we need to create a Babel RC file he is telling. Previously, prior to the Babel 6, 6, automatically this one all will be shipped. Automatically this, 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 this configuration, it will already will be shipped in the prior to the Babel 6. But in the Babel 7, so these both are uh, divided so that we need to configure on our own so that which version you want to, con which version I need to compile into which version I need to compile, we need to mention that. So, he's telling that, please create a Babel RC configuration file, he's telling, okay, fine, we will create a Babel RC configuration file, okay, Babel RC configuration, nice, we created, he's telling that to install the preset, okay, we, what we will try to do, we will try to install the preset here, I try to ins install the preset. So. It is installing the presets. So, uh, what is the agent installing? So, please copy this code, the JSON code. He is telling that in the Babel RC file. Okay. So, we have copied this Babel RC file in the here. Yeah. So, here the preset is installed. Now, we will try to run it again. So, let us try to run it the npm run build. Okay. I try to run the npm run build. Let us check the output. What is the output? Let us check it. If I try to check the source file is so what I have written the code. If we check in the main.js, now the code has been changed. If you see here, the code has entirely changed. So let is so what I have written the let code, it is converted into the where x is equal to console.log x. So this is the vanilla, this is the pure JavaScript code. What I have written in the previous videos. So what we have learned in the previous videos, JavaScript course for beginners. So that has been converted into, into here. So now let's write some other uh, code, something like class. Okay, class is the new concept to introduce in the six. We will learn this one in the future videos. Just I am writing the code how this code will be converted. So here I am writing the constructor. Okay, name. So so that this dot name will be is equal to name. Okay. So I will write this one and we will try to compile here. Okay, I am, I am compiling the code. Okay, it is automatically compiled. Let's see the output in the main.js. See in the main.js, the class concept, everything is removed and it is converted into the function if you see here. So, no need to worry about this, all the code and all those things. So, we need, there is no need for us to, con to consider this code. So, what we can do is here, we can go to the index.html and you can change it to output here. And we will try to execute that. If we try to execute the code, this one. So if I try to execute, nothing will be printed. Why? Because I have written nothing here. So what I will try to do uh, in the main.js, this is the source file. I will close this output file. Okay. Here, what I will try to do, I will try to um, that. Okay. That person is equal to okay. So just uh, just assume that so we will uh, re we will see this one how we will be writing this one all so just i am tell i am writing the code so in order to print okay console dot log person dot name okay now if i try to refresh this one okay okay we need to compile it first okay i compile the code Okay, fine. When I try to execute, okay, return some Try to build it again. Try to build it, and if I try to run, now I got the output as Leela here. 
so here if you try to see the code everything is executed uh, is converted into the vanilla javascript so the code is not there with our uh, what you can say the whatever the class files and all this we have written so it is not there so it is totally vanilla javascript code okay so this is how we can so you can think that the new person of leela how they are able to create this one so this one is a new es6 code right you can ask we have discussed in our javascript videos previously function we have create an object using constructor functions i have told you so that is the thing so how we this has been created so this dot name is equal to name means nothing but what we can say we are creating an object with a uh, with the name person okay it is having the name person the property of name so this all will be converted in the prototypes concept and all those things okay, if you see my previous videos you will are able to understand easily this code so using constructor functions it is converted into the constructor function and creating an object that one is the class is everything is converted into the object here okay in this way we will be writing the es6 code so that it will be executed and compiled to, to the babel compiler and it will be converted into the what we can say the vanilla javascript code, es5 code so so that we will we can use it directly in our index.html that compile code will be using that one wherever we need for example see if i if i convert if i if i use directly the without compile code my uh, source file this class and everything if i use directly in the index.html file what will be the output what you are assuming so if i try to refresh this code you see here again i am getting the answer as leela so if i check it in the main.js now you hey here you will be able to see only class and all those things will be still the class and everything is getting compiled in the chrome and you are getting an output as leela so you can you can think that this code can be compiled in any browser in any latest browser so in our first techmascript videos when we are when we are uh, uh, when we are learning so we had i have told that ECMAScript code can be compiled in in all the, it will be understood by all the latest browsers but only it is required when we are running in the production mode so we don't know what the user uh, uh, browser it have browser he has so he can open in ie 11 or anything so in, a, in a ie 11 or ie 10 the ECMAS es code and all things will not be separate for that reason we need to have that babel compiler so that it will be compiled into the ES5 code. So, this is the main reason why we are using the Babel compiler. So, in future coming generations, this Babel compiler will not be useful. It will be useful when ES7 or latest version of ECMAScript comes when we are writing that code in the ES7. We need to come, we need to use the Babel compiler to convert it into the ES6, not the ES5. Okay, then we will be using in the ES6. ES6. So, if we are using at the time ES6 only, if all the browsers support that one, so we can write directly this code and we can directly use this as a source here so right now we need to use this one compile code why because so i told you right so all the browsers will not support the es6 code so, so that is the reason we are using babel compiler and compiling it es5 hope you understand uh, the concept or uh, setup of the babel compiler and how we can use it in our project if you have any doubts or clarifications or any suggestions please comment to me in the video if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.